How do your emotions, physical senses, and physical capabilities affect your ability to drive? Emotion is a strong feeling. Emotions affect your decision-making skills and ability to assess risk in driving situations. Strong emotions can also block your ability to judge and reason accurately. You can reduce the negative effects of emotions and better manage risk by using courteous driving strategies. When you do this, you empower yourself as courtesy can you, you empower yourself and courtesy can influence others' emotions. Strong emotions interfere with your ability to think, reason, make wise, wise decisions, and respond appropriately to situations. They can increase your chances of making a mistake. Emotions can also affect the way you make judgments and decisions in a driving situation. This traffic scene, a, sudden, a driver suddenly moves into your lane without warning. If you overreact, you could cause a conflict. What emotion would this rearview mirror scene create if you were attempting to increase space for the car cutting into your lane? Strong emotions can cause changes in your bodily functions. Your heartbeat speeds up, your breathing quickens, your digestion slows, and your muscles tighten. Emotions that affect you negatively prevent you from properly applying the IPDE process. The more tasks there are in a given driving situation, the more complex and stressful the situation. Heavy traffic can cause stress and fatigue in drivers. Sometimes stress helps people perform better. However, continued emotional stress exhausts a person and can lead to adverse effects. You usually rely upon a set of assumptions or expectations when driving. You assume that others will drive and act in a safe, responsible manner. You might be tempted to react angrily when you must change your expectations. In normal driving situations, other drivers might interfere with the intended path or your speed of travel. They might slow or change lanes improperly. They might fail to yield or to signal a turn or lane change. Anger is one of the hardest emotions to control. When you are angry, your body and mind may respond with an urge to fight, which can block your ability to think rationally. Anger can impair all of your driving skills. Anger may cause aggressive driving or road rage. According to the AAA, aggressive driving is driving without regard for others' safety. Road rage is driving with the intent to harm others. If the driver cannot gain control of his anger in this situation, he may react aggressively. If you are angry while driving, you might take risks you would not take if you were calm, miss important clues, Force other drivers to stop or swerve abruptly. Good drivers never surprise other drivers. What could you do if you become angry while driving or encounter other drivers who are angry? Think positively. Leave punishment to police. Your acts may only aggravate the situation. Model good behavior. You are riding with a friend in the center lane of a three-lane highway. A driver behind you starts honking the horn, flashing hobbing lights, and tailgating. What are two things you could say to help your friend and manage the situation and drive safely? Sorrow, depression, and anxiety are other emotions that can reduce mental alertness and adversely affect driving. Anxiety differs from anger. You might have anxiety about driving in an unfamiliar, difficult situation. You might have trouble identifying hazards or risks when you're anxious. As a responsible driver, work to recognize situations that may cause you anxiety. It may mean delay in driving, but your driving risk will be reduced. Excitement and happiness can also prevent you from fully concentrating on your driving task. A happy, excited driver can be just as impaired as an angry driver. After an emotionally intense event, try to control your excitement before you get behind the wheel. If unchecked, your emotions could impair your driving abilities. The successful use of the IPD process requires total concentration on the driving task. In a high-stress situation, you need even more time to use the IPDE process. Peer pressure can be a very strong force. In a car, passengers can strongly influence the way you drive. When you are the driver, you must be the leader and take control. You are responsible for the safety of your passengers.